Today, I am watching Hannah Tay. Oh my god, if I don't blow this candle out, oh my dear. You know when people are all like slick. Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my April book haul. These things really come around really quickly, don't they? It's it's scary. I'm going to try not to make this super long, because they always seem to be super long. So let's have a look at this. This is from River Run, an imprint of Quercus. And they normally put out some good stuff. Oh, amazing! <laughs> this is perfect. This is literally... I mean, I could have written this book. Who's it by, though? That's sort of the only problem. Is it in a... Is it an anthology? I believe it is an anthology. Yes, it is an anthology. So this is Poems for a World Gone to Shit. And it includes such sections as What the Fuck? Get me the fuck out of here. Keep your shit together. Let's do something about this shit. And life is still fucking beautiful. So it looks as though it has like a nice little range of poets. I mean, who have we got here? Julia Carney, Claire Parsons, Edith Nesbitt, William Blake there, Nikita Gill, Ivor Gurney, George Eliot, Emily Dickinson. Jesus, this is quite heavy. So this is my parcel. I pre-ordered this uh, in February and it came out two weeks ago and has only just arrived. Because what happened, right, I pre-ordered this, and then Amazon sent me an email being like, oh, sorry, we've ran out of stock, and it's like, but I pre-ordered it. You, that's so that you know how much stock to order in. I don't understand how that happened. So everybody's been talking about these for weeks, if not months. And I have just been waiting patiently. Oh, it is beautiful, though. Look at that. So this is... This is my Penguin Modern box set. So you may have seen the little blue Penguin Classics going around. So this is the collection of them. And uh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so I thought I would have to treat myself to this. I'm going to try and show you all of these, I guess. Oh, I can rub my hand over it. Yeah, all right. So ooh, let's just tilt and see what comes out. I don't want to break anything. Ah, all right, we'll start with this one's number one. Look, Martin Luther King Jr. Letter from Birmingham Jail. Yeah, those are M's. It's just hard to tell. And, um, yeah, they're just really pretty. Like, I think it's, yeah, about 50-odd pages. Just little penguin books. So I'm going to let you know which ones we've got. This is the aesthetic for all of them. So we've got, for example, number two here is Allen Ginsberg. And so, basically, the reason I got the box set is because there are so many of these in this connection that I wanted... I just thought it was easier to get the box set than anything else, than to like individually just get the ones I wanted. All right, so here's what we have in the collection. We have Martin Luther King Jr., Letter from Birmingham Jail. Allen Ginsberg, Television Was a Baby Crawling Toward That Death Chamber. What a title. Daphne du Maurier, The Breakthrough. Dorothy Parker, The Custard Heart. I can't even read that. Akutagawa and others, three Japanese short stories. My only problem with these might potentially be the font. It is very difficult to read the names on the font. Anais Nin, The Veiled Woman. George Orwell, Notes on Nationalism. What have we got here? Gertrude Stein, Food. Stanislav Lem, The Three Electro Knights. Patrick Kavanagh, The Great Hunger. Probably saying half these names wrong, but whatever. I'm just going to go through this whole little lot for you. Okay, then we have Dan Lokis, The Legend of the Slippers. Ralph Ellison, The Black Ball, Jean Rees, Till September, Petronella, Franz Kafka, Investigations of a Dog, Clarice Lispector, Daydream and Drunkenness of a Young Lady, Rizard Kapusinski, An Advertisement for Toothpaste, Albert Camus, Create Dangerously, John Steinbeck, The Vigilante, Fernando Pessoa, I Have More Souls Than One, Shirley Jackson, The Missing Girl, Gazdanov and others, Four Russian Short Stories, Italo Calvino, The Distance of the Moon, Audre Lorde, The Master's Tools Will Never Dismantle the Master's House, Leonora Carrington, The Skeleton's Holiday, William S. Burroughs, The Finger, that's about his finger that he cut off, I mentioned that in my Five Facts video, Samuel Beckett, The End, Kathy Acker, New York City in 1979, Chinua Achebe, Africa's Tarnished Name, 
Season Sontag, Notes on Camp. John Berger, The Red Tender of Bologna. Francois Sagan, The Gigolo. <laughs> the Gigolo, sorry. I couldn't, under couldn't read the fucking writing on it again. Cyprian Akvensi, Glittering City. Jack Kerouac, Peers of the Homeless Night. Hans Falada, Why Do You Wear a Cheap Watch? Truman Capote, The Duke in His Domain. Sal Bello, Leaving the Yellow House. Catherine Ann Porter, The Cracked Looking Glass. James Baldwin, Dark Days. Georges Simenon, Letter to My Mother. William Carlos Williams, Death the Barber. Betty Friedan, The Problem That Has No Name. Frederico Garcia Lorca, The Dialogue of Two Snails. Yuko, Yuko Chusima, that's an M, I think, of Dogs and Walls. Javier Marias, Madame, is that an M? Du Defan and the Idiots. Carson McCullers, The Haunted Boy. Georges Louis Borges, The Garden of Forking Paths. Andy Warhol, Fame. Prima Levy, The Survivor. Vladimir Nabokov, Lance. And Wendell Berry, Why I Am Not Going to Buy a Computer. Yeah, I definitely have decided I don't like this font because it's it's difficult to read. Like on the sides as well, where it's small, you, just all the letters run into each other. But still, these are very aesthetically beautiful, and I'm looking forward to reading them all. Plus, they're nice and short, so it can artificially ramp up the number of books I read each month, I guess. Not that I really need that, I don't think. I also have a parcel that arrived, so we're going to have a look at it. You may be watching this uh, during my haul video. If you are, hello. Sorry about the audio. I didn't bother using it for my vlog style stuff. Oh, how exciting. Dear Dane, please find and close your copy of the book of Riga. I hope when reading it, you find yourself transported back to the beautiful streets of Riga. Best wishes, Becca. And this is from Comma Press. This is the book of Riga, a city in short fiction, edited by Eva Eglaja, Chris Zone, and Becca Parkinson. And I'm pretty excited about this because it's all Latvian literature and whatnot. All right, on that note, I'm going to go do some writing as well. Today I am watching Book Your Imagination. She's just gone to see Frankenstein at the ballet. Very cool. So um, I got this in the post, and apologies for the laundry hanging up there as well. This, uh, I, I opened this up without realizing what it was. So I'm going to show you a few bits. They gave me these bits. Alexander von Humboldt, Humboldt the Explorer. Humboldt the Geographer and that came along with this Euclid's Elements of Geometry the 13 books of the elements of Euclid in coloured diagrams and symbols this nice poster thing and the book itself which I'm gonna have to unwrap because it's in this this uh, kind of cling filmy stuff so basically, over the last couple months I've been reading The Odyssey and I'm near the end so I was like I need a new massive book to read and somebody offered to send me this and this is Newton's Principia the mathematical principles of natural philosophy by Sir Isaac Newton and as you can see it's a bit of a beast of a book and uh, dedication to the teachers of the normal school of the state of New York so this is the American edition my god book one of the motion of bodies it's kind of confusing. I've never really seen a book in this, 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 like, you can see the binding there. But yeah, this has got the three books of that there. And um, I just thought it'd be fascinating to see what, what Newton's Principia is all about. I feel like I've done a really bad job of showing this to you, but it's really difficult. I don't know how I would do a, a better job of it, but it's, uh, yeah. And then, and then it does that because it's not attached to the spine. So it does this, right? Oh, and then you put it back in and you're like, fine. This is from Discover Books in Ohio. Oh, I see, I, I see. They've put a detailed description on it for the international shipping. I can't get in and I've been biting my fingernails, so they're too short. This is Is Factory Farming Harming America by, well, it's edited by Stuart A. Callan. And uh, I don't know, I, I guess I'll read it because I'm not sure whether this is the same, <laughs> I did get a book something like this at one point and it turned out to be kind of propaganda from the meat industry about, so basically it was like his factory farming America, harming America, no, 
and it's like, well, that's just false. So I don't know, that might be the rubbish one. I might have somehow got another copy of the same rubbishy book. I don't know, I'll let you know. Okay, then I got this from Midas Public Relations. <laughs> it's a beast. I have no idea what is in this. It, or, this is how it arrived. It's been through hell by the looks of it. What on earth? What on earth? What, what is this? It's a cardboard tube. I honestly don't know what, if, maybe it's a bomb. Maybe they've sent me like a mail bomb. I've started worrying about that recently. I was, <laughs> it was something I opened the other day and I was like, what if it's a bomb? I swear, somebody could be trying to kill me here. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a bottle of I Am Introvert, the Latvian beer, which is very nice. And uh, it'll go nicely with my other one. And I have already drank one of these as well. So I've ended up with three of these, but they are good potato beers. God. Look at this! Little stack. And, um, oh, I see. Oh. So, what have we got here? Lithuania. And that is a Lithuania badge. This is gift is from the Lithuanian Culture Institute. Pima Sokolad, which I believe is some sort of chocolate. This is really pretty. I'm just going to try and get my, my uh, thing gun done. We are delighted to share with you our Baltic book boxes. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are all celebrating the centennial of their independent republics in 2018, introducing the exciting chance to discover epic past and vibrant, inventive presence through the strong voice of modern literature. Cherishing all that they have in common, the three Baltic countries are the market focus of this year's London Book Fair, joining intellectual and creative forces to express unique experiences through unique stories. Hashtag Baltic Books, hashtag LBF Baltics. And I have got a copy here of Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstena, and I've actually already got a copy of this, and I've read and reviewed it. So what I am probably going to do... Well, why not? If you're watching this video and you have made it to this point and you would like a copy of Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstena, then um, let me know in the comments and I guess we'll run a little giveaway slash competition and I'll post it to somebody. So, uh, open internationally. I have no terms and conditions. I guess you got to be over 18. I'm just doing this by the seat of my pants because I didn't know I was going to get this. But yeah, if you want to read it, let me know, and it might just be your lucky day. And then, I've also got another pair impress one, which is Shadows on the Tundra by Dalia Grinka Vesiute, I think. Something like that. And this is, so this is uh, based in, Lith yes, this is a Lithuanian author, I assume. It's set in, yeah, translated from the Lithuanian by Dalia Valionkinas. Sorry, I totally butchered that, but... So yeah, I'm just going to read this little bit here. In 1941, 14-year-old Dalia Grinka Vesiute and her family are deported from their native Lithuania to a labour camp in Siberia. This is the story that Dahlia buried. The immediacy of her writing bears witness not only to the suffering she endured, but also to the hope that sustained her. So yes, yeah, so I see. So this author wrote this book like it's a true non-fiction story and then buried the writing and they were only discovered in 1991, four years after her death, because she didn't want it to be found by the KGB. And then we have... On the Edge of a Sword by Christina Ehin, translated by Ilmar Letpere, and this is uh, Christina Ehin's second volume of pet poetry from Arc Publications. On the Edge of the Sword is selected from her latest collection published in Estonia in spring 2017. So that is marvellous, and this is bilingual by the looks of it, so it's Estonian on one side and English on the other. So that's good. So I was of course sent, sent this stuff really mainly because I have been working with the, the Latvians to try and promote Latvian literature. And part of the reason, basically I was invited along to Latvia on a press trip. I will link below to a playlist actually where you can see all of the Latvian literature stuff. And um, yes, yeah, so because of that I've been reading more Latvian literature and actually people have been sending some to me. I mean, the, my current book I'm reading, it was in my month, uh, my whole last month I believe, and it's the book of Riga, which is very good, which is Latvian. And um, as I'm filming this, this is the day after I went to London Book Fair. I actually went along to London Book Fair yesterday and went to see my Latvian friends and like the like the ceremony, the opening ceremony and stuff. But I also, I brought some stuff home with me. So, this is EUPL, nine prize winning authors from Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. So this is the European Union Prize for Literature. And yeah, we've got, again, nine different sort of shorts and whatnot in here. 
from the different countries. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. This is uh, the Baltics Riveter, Riveting Baltics Writing Edition 4. So I believe, yep, yeah, this is like, you know, it's like a literary magazine basically for Baltic literature. This is Hilarious Estonia. And this is like a translated, I, I guess it's like a children's book of some sort. I don't know, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I got Anete Konstate and Reynas Peterson's The Life of I, and I is an introverted Latvian writer. So it's basically a set of series, like comic strips. So for example, he's realised that extreme weather conditions mean that he can go out walking and is less likely to bump into people. And then I got Tangerine Sky, Poems from Malta, edited by Terence Portelli. And basically they, they were giving these out for free at the Malta stand. They had both poems and stories. But I didn't want to, you know, take the piss by taking all of their stuff. So I, I thought I'll grab some poems. And um, I think poems are probably the harder one to get people to pick up as well. But I, as you know, if you watch my channel regularly, I like poetry. So I thought I would give this a chance and then maybe branch out into some more Maltese literature from there. So today I am watching Ben Sanders, if it loads. Today I got a little parcel. I think I might know what this is because I believe this is something that I pre-ordered. This is Louise Pastor, Dogtown, illustrated by Arenas Petersons. And it's basically like, a, I guess, like a middle grade novel by a Latvian author. It's also illustrated by a, a Latvian illustrator. Actually, Rainus Peterson's drew me a fridge magnet, which is over on my freezer over there. Uh, based on local legend, this is a prize winning story of myths, maps, talking dogs and summer adventures in the big city. And I'm really looking forward to getting started. This is a new release. So, yeah, buzzing. Okay, so I've just got a couple of books I wanted to show you today, and I got these from the Pound Shop here in High Wycombe. So, well, it was Poundland, so I paid a pound each for these. Brand new copies of uh, Horrible Histories, Frightful First World War, and Woeful Second World War by Terry Deary, illustrated by Martin Brown. And I used to just love the Horrible Histories books when I was a kid, and I do actually have one or two of them. And so I just thought it'd be really nice to pick these up and um, I mean they kind of go together and I haven't read these ones as well and why not? And also obviously it has some great little cartoons inside as well. Okay I have a parcel. This is the Rough Guides, Rough Guide to Berlin because Becca and I are going to Berlin on a little holiday. So this will come in handy. Although I get really obsessive with books. And wanna, I tend to read them cover to cover, and this is actually very thick and quite small print. And in, I guess, more depth than I wanted. I, I wanted something about 100, 150 pages. Like, I, think, I think maybe it was a DK guide I had before. So I'm probably going to give this to Becca and try and get myself one. <laughs> Again, I don't know. Um, Today I am I'm watching Cassie from so Bookish Four Eyes. Some For some reason, the volume on that is way louder than it should be. <laughs> it's like way louder than all of the other videos I've just been watching. Anyway, uh, I have some stuff that has arrived in the post, so we're just going to see what that is. Dane Cobain. This could be anything. I don't actually know what this is. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> So this is a new magazine. Uh, somebody was like, do you want to receive a copy of our new magazine? It's called Strong Words. It says here, great new magazine about great new books. Issue number one, April 2018. This goes for four pounds. That's very interesting. If you want to find out more, you can go to strong-words.co.uk. I have no idea what the rate is like internationally and stuff like that. If you can get them internationally I'm sure there's probably a digital version as well that's really cool though I'm I'm pretty happy with this got a bit here the greatest covers of all time and we have George Orwell's 1984 but the penguin version where they censored it <laughs> and then look you might recognize some of these books here some of these book booktubey books I ordered some books online when I was drunk so I think you're about to see the results of that. Dear Dane, many thanks for your custom. Please do not hesitate to contact us if there are any problems with your purchase before posting feedback on your experience of our service. Hope you enjoy the book. With kind regards, Michael from Shedlight Books, Portsmouth, Hampshire. And he sent this on the back of this little thing of Leonard Cohen. So this is Leonard Cohen, A Book of Mercy. Shout out to Miriam if Miriam's watching. I'm pretty sure she's a Cohen fan. 
And I, I, I've read most of Leonard Cohen's books, but I haven't read or owned this one in the past, so I thought I would buy it. But I'm very impressed that they've given me all this handwritten stuff with it, just to say thanks for buying it. I'm like, thanks for selling it, mate. I don't even know if it's in print anymore. Okay, then here we have The Lucky Ones, My Passionate Fight for Farm Animals by Jenny Brown, founder of the Woodstock Farm Animal Sanctuary with Gretchen Primack as well, who's a poet and editor, apparently. I'm reading this as my research for Meat, my book that's set on a factory farm, but to be honest, I've almost finished writing it, so I don't know whether I will read this anytime soon, but I probably should get to it. But it's my understanding it's more of a memoir of her fight rather than you know, a manual or anything like that, you know what I mean? Okay, now this one, I'm very excited about. This is John Lennon, in his own right, and a Spaniard in the works. This is actually two books in one. Here is one of his drawings, look. Marvellous. And I was going to get the two books individually, but I just thought, this is a really beautiful copy, and I think it was cheaper to get this, or the same price to get this as it was for just one of the books. So I thought I'd get this because it looked like a good version to have. This is Wolf in White Van by John Darnell. And John Darnell is also the lead singer slash songwriter of the Mountain Goats, who are one of my favourite bands. And weirdly, I have seen this book talked about a few times on BookTube. And I never know whether people realise that it's the dude from the Mountain Goats. Because I've been listening to the Mountain Goats since about 2004 or something. And this came out, you know, fairly recently. So this is Lynchpin by Seth Godin. Let me take it there. This is double wrapped as well. This is Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable? How to Drive Your Career and Create a Remarkable Future by Seth Godin. Non-fiction, uh, kind of businessy book, I guess. But I've read a lot of Godin stuff before and I, I think he's a cracking writer and a, you know he's, he's earned his, his place as a thought leader. So I'm keen to see what he says in this one. So there we have it. Those are the books that arrived today. How exciting. So I have a few things that have arrived in the post, and I thought maybe Biggie would like to help me. I almost stroked you on the top of your neck there, cat. I forgot I'm not allowed to. We just gave him his flea treatment, didn't we, Biggie? You can look at the cat. Oh, that's a big yawn. Yes. All right, you can flop again if you want. That's fine. I'm going to open some things I got in the post here while he sits with me. By the way, that is the very tiny, messy kitchen in the background. I usually try not to include that in shot, but sometimes you just have to roll with it if the cat is doing something cute. So I got this after this month's World of Wizardry box, included a tie in it, with a tie pin. And I thought, yeah, that's cool. I can wear that in my monthly wrap-up when I wear my suit. Except then I thought, or I could, instead of wearing the tie that came in that box, I could get myself a nice Slytherin tie. And then I can have a little lick of colour, you see. So, that's what this is. I think that's quite nice. That'll look quite well with my with my suit. Oh, I see what this is. This is from Charles Heathcote. You might have heard of this chap. Interestingly, he's giving me his address. Well, I don't, I don't mean that in itself is interesting. I mean, my name makes part of his address, which is weird. Hi Dane, many thanks for purchasing a copy of our Doris. This is the first book in a series of comedic monologues featuring the character Mrs. Doris Copeland, as told by her husband, Harold. This book draws inspiration from Alan Bennett's Talking Heads, Victoria Wood and Roy Clark, and follows the character as she tries to gain fifth house in the garden safari being run by her local WI. As mentioned in one of the emails I sent, I do not mind negative reviews, and if you happen to dislike this book in any way, shape or form, then please do feel free to say so. I accept that as writers, when we put our work out into the world, we are subjecting it to criticism. That being said, I do hope that you enjoy the book. Once I have the money, I will be purchasing your book. I'm quite looking forward to it. All the best, Charlie. Oh, thank you, Charlie, for the little note. And Charlie is on BookTube as well, so be sure to check him out. I've actually seen a few people review our Doris and that's what made me want to pick it up the most I think I, I genuinely think this is the kind of book that I am going to really enjoy and I also just I mean I like I like the cover <laughs> and I know that sounds silly to say that but I, I just I think the production value on it looks pretty good so I'm betting that Charlie's put a lot of you know a lot of love into it I mean even things like the chapter headings and the layout look that's pretty good for an indie novel so I'm looking forward to getting this getting to this. He signed it as well. He's put, he's put best wishes Charles Heathcote. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm going to be reading this as part of Tard and Dane's Indie Read Along 
So I will keep you updated with that, but I, I'm guessing it's going to be our book, uh, the book for June. So very nice. Cool. So this is A Clergyman's Daughter by George Orwell. Is this one of the ones that I bought when I was drunk? I think I bought this when I was drunk. It's the last of his, like, book books that I haven't read. But looking at it, it does appear as though he has some letters and essays and other stuff, which I haven't read. So, note to Editing Dane, make sure you get those. And then... Possibly the most exciting one. This is actually to replace a book that I have already read. You may have noticed from my tags and all this other stuff. I, I like to keep every book that I've read. And it's sometimes I realise there's a book that I've read in the past and that I don't own. So then I'll buy it. The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. Because I distinctly remember having this at school. I used to like the uh, film of it as well. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if Hannah Tay is watching, but if she is, I'm sure she's loving the fact that I've just bought this. Well, that was fantastic timing, because I was just about to sit here to film the outro, because it is now the last day of the month, and I need to encode this, upload it, and post it today, <laughs> according to my schedule. Otherwise, I don't get a chance for, like, a week. So... I was about to film my outro, and then the postman came and posted something through the letterbox, literally while I was filming the outro. So last book of the month a bonus book this is also massive but this is a dk eyewitness travel guide to berlin so you may remember i got the other one and was like it's too big <laughs> this one's slightly smaller so I'm, I'll, I'll probably will actually use this so i'm going to take this with us when we go to berlin and basically use it to figure out where in the hell we're going to go i might also look at TripAdvisor as well so uh yeah, Berlin, area by area. Very exciting. Oh yeah, and I need to do my outro. So, anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what books you've picked up in the month of April. Shit, it's getting, it's almost May. I'm 29 in June. Oh, I'm feeling old, I'm feeling old today. I'm feeling the inevitable progression of time towards the inevitable date with a hole in the ground. <sighs> We're all mortal. We're all gonna die. All we can do is try to read as much as possible before we go into the grave. And hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.